Habits are quite powerful. They control our day-to-day -day behavior and determine our mindset. And breaking bad habits is quite nasty and difficult. Marge, no indulgence of mine ever becomes a habit. Here's how to change your habits as prescribed by Charles Dohig, the author of The Power of Habit. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Step 1. Identify the routine. Almost every habit follows a neurological loop that consists of three parts. A cue that starts the process, the routine that follows, and the reward you get. To understand your habits, why you do certain things, you need to identify the components of your loop. What's the cue that triggers the routine? Do you grab for junk food because you get hungry or do you get bored? Is there a way to preemptively prevent that from happening? And what's the overall reward? The short sugar rush you get, the feeling of satiety, getting distracted for a moment or simply eating something. <laughs> Can you get the same reward mechanism from something else, such as healthy food or walking around the block? Most likely you can. You don't want the junk food or the cigarette, you want the reward. <laughs> Step 2. Experiment with rewards. Whenever you get the urge to eat junk food, change the routine so that the reward would be different as well. Instead of running to the nearest supermarket to grab a donut, go take a walk around the block without eating anything. The next time go to a fast food restaurant and eat french fries. What? The next time go to the farmer's market and buy some vegetables. The next time drink a big cup of water or read a book etc. The idea is to figure out which craving is triggering the routine. <laughs> Are you really hungry? Do you want something salty? A break from your work? Or are you simply bored? Experimenting with different rewards can help you isolate what you're actually craving for. Milk was a bad choice. Step 3. Isolate the cue. Do you eat breakfast because you're hungry? Or because it's the morning? Or because people tell you to have it? Or because others have started to eat? Or because you brewed a cup of coffee and that's when the habit snacking kicks in? To identify a cue, we can identify categories of behavior ahead of time so that we could see some re-emerging patterns. Almost all habits fit into one of these five categories. Location, time, emotional state, other people, immediately preceding action. I immediately regret this decision. Okay, for example, you want to run to the supermarket to buy junk food. And you write down these five things whenever you get the urge, when you start craving for it. Where are you? Sitting at the desk. What time is it? 5.45 p.m. What's your emotional state? Bored. Who else is around? Nobody. What action preceded the urge? An online advertisement. Do this for several days and see if there are any re-emerging patterns. Ron, ah! wh where are you? Ah, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Maybe you crave something always at an exact time of the day or when you get bored. <laughs> Step four, have a plan. Let's say at 3 p.m. you start craving for junk food because there's no one around and you're bored. The cues are boredom and wanting to socialize with other people. If it's almost 3 o'clock, then be a strategic mother... <coughs> Go talk to someone before you get bored and feel alone. I love it when a plan comes together. Habits are definitely a lot more complex and difficult, but this is a very good starting point. 60% of the time, it works every time. It's science. It will at least increase your mindfulness and help you understand your own behavior. I don't know what we're yelling about! That's it for this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, and click the notification bell as well. And what bad habits are you struggling with? Loud noises! Thanks for watching. My name is Seem. Stay mindful. Stay empowered. I'm on right now. I don't believe you.